Hello friends, welcome to Freedom Homestead. My name is Tangie and today I have for you a grocery haul. Now it's been quite a while since we've done one of these. Um, so if you will stay to the end, we will uh, kind of do a quick update on the uh, health journey and talk about some of the food. Um, but a lot of this is, is not just for the week, but it's also for New Year's Eve. We like to have fun foods and we'll talk about that here in just a moment. But I will turn you around and show you what I got. I just went to Aldi today and yeah, so let's see, let's see what's shaking. Okay, so here's the spread. I'm not going to go over the prices. Um, I can just tell you everything has gone up substantially. Um, so this was $95 and some change. Um, and some of this stuff was on sale, like the cream cheese was on sale, but it was still like a dollar and a half. Um, so I did get three blocks. Uh, I got two packages of bacon. Um, these were over $4.00. The eggs were $3.99 for a dozen of the cheap commercial white eggs. Thankfully, my my chickens are starting to lay again. I don't know if it's a fluke, but we have gotten uh, an egg or two a day over the last couple of days. So hopefully it's the uh, hopefully it's the trend. Hopefully they're uh, getting back into it. Uh, I got a loaf of bread. I got a two pound family pack of wild caught salmon. Uh, some chicken wings. This is for our uh, New Year's Eve celebration. <clears throat> I got some sandwich cheese, some green onions, some sliced mushrooms, uh, turkey pepperoni. I got a couple of avocados. We have some cheese melt back here again for um, New Year's Eve. Butter. Did I say it already? Uh, I got two bags of tortilla chips, a box of golden round crackers. That is sparkling grape juice because we are not alcohol drinkers, but we wanted something fancy. Um, <laughs> they got a bottle of ranch, uh, some boxes of macaroni and cheese for the pantry. Uh, let's see. I got two things of uh, jalapenos. Again, that is for New Year's Eve. We got some uh, a little bag of bell peppers for dipping and eating. Uh, some turkey breast meat some mini cucumbers. Did I say celery already? I think I did. Uh, back here we have some French vanilla coffee creamer, some heavy whipping cream, and that is everything I got at Aldi. Like I said, it was $95 and some change. I do know that the uh, two pound thing of salmon, I think was 12 bucks. And I think the chicken wings was somewhere around that as well, maybe a little bit more. Okay, so for New Year's, we are going to be having Rotel Dip, which is the cheese melt, the tortilla chips. Um, I also have some pork rinds that I can eat with that. Um, with the some of these vegetables, I'm going to do a spinach artichoke dip. We're also going to have chicken wings. Of course, we have some uh, a jug of Frank's uh, hot sauce that we're going to make buffalo wings with. Um, the jalapenos, cream cheese, and bacon is going to be jalapeno poppers. And I don't know if we're gonna have anything else with it, but that is pretty much what our um, what our New Year's Eve shindig is going to look like. So I'm really excited about that. Um, okay, so food for the week. Here's the deal. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that keto is my sweet spot. Um, when it comes to my health and wellness journey, I have never, in my opinion, looked or felt better than I ever have um, when I am doing the keto way of eating. So, um, but because sugar is of the devil, <laughs> I, I cannot get off keto and then get right back on. At least not when I am, you know, there's times where I feel like I'm more fragile. So it is better for me to stay away from it. Um, if someone says, oh, just have a little piece of cake, cake it won't hurt you. Maybe not for them, but it does for me. I just, I, I derail and it's very hard to get back on. So um, anyway, since I have been on again, off again, I am causing myself a lot of inflammation and other things like that. I now have what a few people have agreed to be rosacea. I have not gone to a dermatologist, but I am this close to going. Um, I also have some aches and pains that are pretty new. I have had consistent shoulder pain for over a month now that I can't seem to get rid of. Um, and so I'm probably gonna be going to a chiropractor as well. 
Um, but I am convinced that it has everything to do with the way I am eating and treating my body. So with that said, I have decided that I am going to participate in the Ketovore challenge that Dr. Barry and his wife, Nisha, are doing for the month of January. And I will put a link down below um, to be a part of it. If you want to be in the community on their website, then there is a fee, a $5 a month fee. Now there, they have other packages, but for me, I can do $5. Um, what I am mostly there for is to learn. I am there for the support and I am there for guidelines. Um, I want to learn how to do it. And, but I've also given myself permission to modify it as I feel like I need to, to stay on it. Um, so I'm not going to get into a lot of detail, but you can go over to their website. Again, I will, um, link it down below. Also the video where they talk about what it is. So for me, it is a, it's an elimination diet to hopefully help me see whatever it is that is causing the rosacea, the shoulder pain, um, you know, it could just be because I keep getting off of keto. It also could be because I have keto treats, uh, like the carb counter tortillas. They have wheat products in it. It's possible that there's something in there that's triggering some of this craziness that's happening. So anyway, Ketovore is keto with a emphasis on animal products, meats, fats, and dairy, but with limited dairy and a, a limited amount of carbs from vegetables. So if you want a vegetable, have a vegetable, but the uh, limit to be keto -vor, or considered keto -vor, is 10 total carbs per day. So you can see where there would be a heavy emphasis on uh, meat. So anyway, I am looking forward to it. I am looking to forward to feeling better and hopefully getting rid of the rosacea. Like I said, I don't think you can really see it. Um, that is not from rosacea. That is hormones. <laughs> but anyway, um, but yeah, and I'm also trying some things topically. I have uh, my sister-in-law sending me something to try. I have my friend Jennifer from Serenity Hill Farm is sending me something to try of something that she makes and sells. Um, so Anyway, um, I'm all for trying whatever, <laughs> um, but I think it is better to heal from the outs, uh, from the inside out, and so that is what I'm going to be trying. So I am going to try to document some of the meals that I'm having during Keto War, mostly for me, so I can look back. I like going back and seeing when I show what I eat in a day when I'm eating Keto. Um, just because sometimes I forget about some of those meals and it's just good to see, you know, have that reminder um, and meal idea. So anyway, I'm sorry that I rambled. Um, but yeah, so most of my meals are going to be meat and fat. And I am very much looking forward to it. <laughs> um, my drinks will be unsweet tea, uh, coffee with a little bit of heavy whipping cream um, and some electrolyte drops and water and meat and butter and a little bit of cheese that like, that's what I'm going to be eating for the whole month of January. So don't feel sorry for me <laughs> anyway. So who knows? Maybe I'll love it so much. I decide to go straight up carnivore or carnivore. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but anyway, all right. So that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul. What is the price of milk where you are? What is the price of eggs where you are? The milk was like two thirty nine, I think. And then the eggs were three ninety nine. Um, so I want to know, what what are those prices where you are right now? And that is it. Until next time, guys, remember to be vigilant, be prayerful, and be prepared. God bless you all. We'll catch you in the next one.